Good morning, brothers and sisters. It's your girl, Hawaii 90, coming to you with a video vlog of this morning. And this here is basically my um, last week vlog. Um, record um, over this. What I'm going to be talking to you about this morning, it involves my case situation and, uh, and actions I'm planning on taking uh, involving my children and um, DHS and, and a whole lot of stuff that I need to uh, involve myself in. For the most of you guys know that I have been going through peer help this week um, with this case. Um, okay, y'all know my case situation, okay? Y'all know that I've had a lot of issues with the DHS services and stuff like that. I got my kids back. Everything was fine. The lady inspected my house every day. My house is clean. Ain't nothing wrong with my um, my apartment. Okay. Most of you know who may live in apartments know that it's management's job to fix and spray for insects, anything that matter. Not ours. The management. Since we have already taken care of that matter and paying out of our pocket what we needed to have done to this apartment. Mind you, not being reimbursed and my husband taking days off work to be able to take care of whatever we need to take care of to keep our kids. Now, this here has come down to one man coming to my house who's never been to, never been to my house uh, before at all. Really don't know my situation. Now, DHS has not been to my house in less a little over four weeks. The last time she came was when she came and questioned my children or whatever and everything was fine and she left. And she said everything looks good, Miss Reed, and left out my door. Three days before my court hearing for the youth court, this guy shows up out of nowhere. I don't know him. He wasn't my regular CASA worker. He just comes out of nowhere, goes back to the court, didn't show up in court at all, but goes back and tells them, uh, saying that he saw a bug, a roach here, a roach there. There is no roaches, and everybody has been in my apartment. There is no roaches. Every now and then you'll see a small one here, a small one there, but that's not the. They want to talk about sheets on the bed. They want to talk about little poison that's being too dangerous for the children. First of all, you told us to get the bugs under control. We've done that, okay? We got rid of them, okay? There's little ones running around, but you know what? Who's a miracle worker, okay? It's nothing I can do. We live in the south. It's hot. They're going to run. But there's not a load of roaches. And I will do a video on my own apartment. Okay. So that I can say, look, I got something for these people are doing this to me. And I'm thinking about, and I will contact the NAACP um, involved in my case. Because I asked the caseworker to come out here. She's supposed to have been here on May, and she didn't never show up. Now, I'm not saying she might be there or not, but that's not the point. When she said, I'll be there Monday, she never showed up. I gave her Tuesday, never showed up. Yesterday was a holiday. I can understand that, okay? But, and, um, with that being said, I've done everything in my neck and cranny to try to get this lady to inspect my apartment, get my kids back home, Okay? I, I miss my children a lot. I get to see my children, be with my children, but they can't stay in the apartment until they give me further notice, which is supposed to be temporarily. If it's temporarily, you cut off my assistance, and then you ask my mother about do she want child support. If it's temporarily, why are you asking for all these things? Now, most of you know I, that they when they do that they get this and that and that but that's not the point I'm trying to make the point is if this is temporary why are you doing all this now why are you doing when this was been the case my case was supposed to been closed that day this guy comes over don't know shit about me don't have kids of his own 25 years old new to he said he couldn't even get in contact with my caseworker and I don't quite understand is she hasn't been here at all to inspect my apartment and see anything but she's going off with this dude who did not show up in court on that Monday she's going off about what he says then he calls me Sunday and he's saying that they weren't supposed to remove my children from the home telling my mother they weren't supposed to take my kids out of my house now I'm getting all this whirlwind 
he say, she say, this one's supposed to happen, but this was to happen. I don't get it. I'm trying to explain this the best way I can. They're giving me all these damn things. Like when she told me and my husband to go take the drug test. We went down there to do the drug test. She didn't give us no paperwork. And the lady said, well, you can't do a drug test without paperwork. So we called, the lady called my social worker and asked them, asked her about so paperwork. And she said, oh, I didn't think they needed any paperwork to do a drug test. So the drug test was a bust. Same day, police officers called my phone. Mind you, this is before we went to check the drug test. We had to go down there to do a muck shot. Because they pressed charges. Police officers pressed charges against me. And we had a warrant for arrest for this. First, they said I had to have no food. They turned around and said that my, my food in my refrigerator was spoiled. And it's cold. February, the flies don't fly in the month of February. They're hibernating. Most of you know, in the South, that's what flies do. And needless to say, what fly, if it is or if it was a fly in my house, what difference does it make? This is the South. It's hot. But right now, this, this, uh, the officers press charges in the month of February. So it was really cold. So it was no flies flying. They said I had flies in my house. They said I had cigarette butts on my bed. But now I got drama from each end, from DHS to neighbors. It's just an ongoing matter here. I'm seriously, guys, I'm really fed up with all this crap. Um, I'm trying my best to stay strong for, for the least part. I'm trying to keep my head up high because a lot of this shit is racial base. Okay? Why can why tell me I look like I could be on drugs when I don't do a drug? I told her she could test me today, tomorrow, and whenever she wants to test me, she could test me for the whole goddamn year of my life until I'm here. I'm not I'm not a drug addict. I don't do drugs. I smoke my cigarettes, which are legal. My teeth may look messed up. But this is genetics. This is something I'm trying to take care of. But at this point in time, with all the money that we're putting inside this apartment and doing what we got to do up here, it's impossible to get my teeth fixed. But the insurance only cover 80% of my dental care. But I'm going to make arrangements for my teeth to be taken care of. So I want people saying that, oh, she must be a drug addict. I'm not a fucking drug addict. And I'll put that on a stack of Bibles. I don't do no drugs. I don't even like taking a BC powder for my tooth pain. But when it comes to my tooth pain, that's what I take. Let me see. Well, I don't have them with me right now. But whatever the case may be, I'm, I already contacted NAACP. I'm going to be sending out some emails, uh, get my rights. Um, handle because I think all this here is this uh it's not right. If you if if you guys were right were here with me right now, you and your own self be like, what the fuck that's what the main word your your thing is be like, what the fuck are you serious? Cheats on the bed. Roaches are dangerous. What roaches? You ain't been to my house in a month and you gonna send some strange dude who could have possibly been a serial killer to my house who's been here one time and don't know my case? He sees a dead roach in the tub and all of a sudden I got a lot of roaches now? She has not been here in a month. And I asked her to come to my house. I've been waiting all sitting up here by myself waiting on this woman to come so she can inspect this apartment. I called her to come. Come to my apartment. I invited her to come. Will we open my door? Come in and check. Do you see anything that will hurt my children? Or harm my children? Yeah, we got hood rats here. We got thugs. But I'm not worried about that. My thing is, is getting my children back. Because these people don't make a dollar and pay for my bills. None of these people do. I take care of me and my husband takes care of me and these kids. So 
with that being said, I'm going to go. I will be back with another video. Um, I thank you guys for listening. And I hope you guys have any advice. If you work in the law field, find this shit right at all. If you have any questions on my situation, please feel free to ask. And I will do my best to answer them. Willing as possible. Because I'm playing on if she do show up, I'm recording everything she says. And I bet you by a dollar, the next time something comes up, y'all heard it. And y'all gonna hear it through y'all screaming. Y'all be the judge. Because most of you, probably most of you have dealt with DHS. And you know how these people can be crooked, backstabbing, and racist. And I don't care how I'm putting it today. It's not about, they don't care about my children. They don't care about none of these children being in the system. These children go around foster care and being molested in these homes, being raped. And then they go grow up and they go and they be all twisted in the head. And they wonder why that this world is fucked up the way it is. That's just saying outside the box. This is not going to happen. Because I will go to jail if they take my damn children. That's enough said right there. From my babies. Now kids, this today, get away with murder. I said murder because of this staff ongoing for these children. They don't receive the disciplinary the actions they do strive to get but these people want to come in here and tell me and this bitch hadn't been in my house in a month and you can go by what this fool told you she has not been in my house guys in a month a month I swear to God she has not been in my apartment but when I taught her to get her to come here Monday she didn't even show up but um yeah I'm gonna go Y'all have a great day. Um, I love your feedback. Um, I'm gonna put this on approve comments. If you want, if you're wanting to approve a comment, uh, comment. I'll approve it if it's not deemed negative. Um, with that being said, guys, have a wonderful and great week. Bye, y'all. Oh, weekend. Bye.